Hey friends, it's Shauna from withlovefromvinyl.etsy.com. I am getting ready to do the second coat of Mod Podge on a few tumblers that I was working on earlier today. These have been sitting for about, mm, probably, I'm going to guesstimate about an hour and a half, two hours now. Um, so we are ready to do the second coat of glitter and you're going to start by dry brushing off the excess glitter from the first coat. I cannot get these brushes anymore, um, but any hard bristle paintbrush will do. And you just literally brush off the extra glitter into a receptacle of your choosing. I always say I'm going to do something with this extra glitter, but in reality, the extra glitter ends up getting played in by my three-year-old son. He calls it stars, and he plays in it whenever he sneaks into my office. No harm. It's, it is, I mean, he enjoys it, doesn't bother me any, so we usually vacuum up most of it, and it never actually gets used in any way other than him playing with it. But as he gets older, you can use this extra glitter to create um, magnets and such to send off with your cups by using silicone molds and mixing it with epoxy. And sometimes you get really cool glitters, colors. You can you tell just from the colors in here, I use a lot of whites because it is a very light colored mix. So in any event, once you've dry brushed off the excess glitter, you're ready to do the second coat of Mod Podge and glitter. This cup, I don't remember if I said it or not, was done with opulent opal. I've got the camera in a different spot today, so I'm sorry if my voice is really loud. I'm literally standing right next to the camera and if I bump you more I'm sorry too I'm just trying to figure out a way that works to where you guys can see everything and my hands are not in the way because um, I am not graceful and I always hate when I bump you guys it's I'm sure it's interesting on your end so I'm just trying different things to see if we can't keep keep the view better for you all so I use the matte Mod Podge, and that is simply because I got a great deal from Amazon with it. Hard Coat Matte Mod Podge is also a favorite, but a little harder to get the good deals on. So I use what I have on hand, and it happens to be the matte Mod Podge that I got in like the ginormous gallon size, gallon size bottle. And when I first slather it on there, I don't pay any attention to where it is or where it's going. I just want a lot on there so that I can move it around as needed to smooth it out and make sure I got full coverage. And you can see, I mean, on the brush, there's a little bit of extra glitter. A lot of that comes from the fact that I very rarely totally wash my brushes. And I mean, you know how glitter is if you guys work with glitter. So, I mean, a lot of that glitter is not necessarily from this cup. But dry brushing takes a lot of that extra glitter off and you don't gunk up your brush. And that's why I don't have to seal my glitters. Not, I mean, I just very rarely, if ever, seal the glitters and it's because of dry brushing off the excess. I truly feel like that is the reason that I get to skip the sealing step. So anyways, once you get the Mod Podge on there, you are ready to do your glitter and this one is a single color opulent opal so it's just Mod Podge on, glitter on, tape off and done. Super 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 simple. With it being the second coat of glitter once you get the glitter on you're going to take off your tape Okay, so now that the glitter is on there, oh, I think you can see the glitter sparkle a little better from this angle, huh? I mean, it might just be my perspective, but let me figure out where my garbage is. <clears throat> Should have been empty. So we will take the tape off now while the Mod Podge, oops, see, hitting you guys, while the Mod Podge is still wet, we'll take the tape off and that helps give us the nice clean lines. A lot of people like to glitter from top to bottom, so you don't have that rim at the top or the bottom, and that's totally fine. That's just a matter of personal preference. The 
but then you'll set that aside to dry and then tomorrow morning I will retape the top and the bottom and well I'll dry brush first so I'll dry brush the excess off retape the top and the bottom and then we will Mod Podge the first layer of Mod Podge on so that's it for a solid color 20 ounce if you want to hang around I've got quite a few others to do um, but it's all going to be the same process with the exception of I've got one more solid color to do and then we're going to switch to some ombres. But it's all second layer. Second layer of glitter is all the same as far as dry brushing and glittering and then removing the tape. So, it's as simple as it gets right there. Let me refill my Mod Podge container before I grab my next cup. If you guys want to hang around and watch me, you're more than welcome to. The next color we're doing is Rose Gold Glitz. And that one is, my hand is stuck in it. Look, oh, my hand is stuck. Um, the Rose Gold Glitz is a custom mix rose gold. And you can see, when I'm dry brushing, I'm not gentle. I want the extra glitter to come off now, as opposed to in my Mod Podge brush, where it'll just get mixed up and mixed in with all the next cups that I do. So I get off as much of the glitter as I can, because if it's coming off now, it wasn't adhered to begin with. So it would either come off now, or it'll come off in my Mod Podge brush, or it would come off in my epoxy. So I prefer now, when I've got control over the mess. Okay. Set this aside. And Mod Podge on. Trying to get all the cups done before I go out of town. I'm going back to Michigan for a little while. Well, for a week almost. But I set a goal to get all of the cups out before I leave so that I can just go and be on break. It has been so long since my family has taken a vacation and I'm so looking forward to it. But in order to take a vacation, I have to make sure the work is done. So it's about midnight here right now. The whole family's asleep. And here I am with you glittering cups. Okay, so this one is a solid color as well, rose gold glitz. Once you get all the lumps, bumps, and ridges out of the Mod Podge, you are ready to add glitter and because it is a solid color you're gonna do it the exact same way where you just sprinkle it on for coverage you don't have to worry about tilting it one way or the other <clears throat> you just want to make sure you have full coverage from top to bottom Once you do, I give it a tap, take off the extra, and then we're going to remove the tape. And I moved my garbage, give me a second. I kind of do this one. I am not gentle when I remove this tape. I am just pulling it off. But taking the tape off while it is still wet gives you nice clean lines. Now don't forget, when we are done 
letting this dry before we do anything else, we will dry brush off the excess glitter. So that one is Rose Gold Glitz. I have a couple of rose golds. The rose gold glitz is a little lighter than the other one. The other one I have is rose gold glam, and it's just a just a tad darker. The next cup we're gonna do is a twenty ounce skinny. Um, it is done with one of my newer glitter colors that I absolutely love. I've actually got, let me see if I can move you, because I've got it over here spinning too. Ready? Ah, boom. That one is being done with the epoxy method. This is, oh god, what did I name it? Galactic Glitz, I think. But that's Galactic Glitz. It's a black glitter that reflects back a rainbow of colors. So, love it. We're about to do that one over here. If I can put you back to where you were. Um, I dropped my garbage. Sorry. Good times. I have never claimed to be graceful. Just keep that in mind. So this one is Mod Podge Method. And I did um, Opulent Opal and Rose... Um, nope, Opulent Opal and Galactic Glitz down here. So when I'm dry, brush, dry brushing an ombre, I'm going to start with the lighter color, brush that off before I move into the darker color. Like I said, I really do go pretty vigorously on these because I want the glitter to come off now. If it's going to come off, now is when I want it to come off. Not when I am Mod Podging and getting it all mixed in with the brush and the Mod Podge and then it'll be in the next cup and all of the things. Now we're ready to move on. I love that color. It's so pretty. <clears throat> I have to move fast because my phone just told me I forgot to charge it. So it's at like 15% battery. So we'll see how far we get. But same thing as we've been doing. Mod Podge on. My hand does not fit well in these. So you'll see me struggle to turn it. See me struggle a lot with things that require me to be coordinated. Once I get it on there, the Mod Podge on there, I'll start paying more attention to evening out the lumps, bumps, and ridges. And what I liked about this black glitter, now when I say black glitter, it has a lot of sparkle back. So, I mean, it's a black glitter, but it's got a rainbow effect sparkle back. And what I loved about it was that it didn't lose that sparkle back under epoxy. So before I even listed it in my shop, I made sure to do an epoxy sample. Because, you know, a lot of blacks lose their sparkle once you put them under epoxy. And this one was just gorgeous still. So, so excited to use it. So when we're doing an ombre, start at the bottom and keep your cup flat to get the solid color. Now my hand does not turn in these well, so just bear with me while I try to get it all the way around. When you're done with the area that you want to be solid, you'll start tilting the cup and sprinkling down. Okay. 
So tilt your cup up. Now when I do this, I'm still aiming for the, try to make sure you're still in, I'm still aiming for the area where the solid is, but I want the glitter to sprinkle down the cup to get the areas that the ombre, the mix of the two colors is gonna be. So I sprinkle a little lighter and I hold my cup at an angle. Okay, and then once you get that sprinkle down, you're ready to move on to the next color, which will be opulent opal. Now I'm going to keep it tilted down and I'm going to aim for this area here and I'm going to have it sprinkled down now, filling in the gaps in the Mod Podge that are exposed. And it might look like it's heavy. You know, right in here, like it looks like there's a lot of white, but that's it, that's sitting on top of the glitter beneath it. That is not on Mod Podge, so that's not going to stick. When we dry brush it, that's coming off. The only glitter that's going to stay on is the glitter that gets stuck on the Mod Podge that we left exposed when we sprinkled the glitter down. And that's why you tilt the cup and that's why you sprinkle down because you're leaving areas of Mod Podge exposed where the glitter is going to adhere and mix in and create that ombre section in the cup. Now with these darker colors, oh, I lost my breath for a second. With these darker colors, when I tap the bottom of my cup, I want to make sure my darker colors are not over my white or I won't be able to put the white back in the, the container. So I'm going to hold it over and give it a tap. And you already see a lot of that came off where you had had the, um, the white showing real thick. A lot of that's already come off. So that is Galactic Glitz at the bottom, Opulent Opal at the top. And those are just oh, so pretty together. And like I said, this black under epoxy is not going to be a true, true, like, real dark, dark, dark black. But it doesn't lose its sparkle when you put it under epoxy. I wish I had the little... I don't have any part of the sample in here. It's in my other... I think it's in my living room where I was taking the pictures. But anyways, um, you do want to do... The base coat in black for that though because it's not a metallic glitter so that cup when I spray painted it for the base coat I actually did a black ombre spray paint into white so when this cup was spray painted it was spray painted black and white so the area that's black was spray painted black it ombre into the white and that's how you're going to get this stronger black than if you were to do it's not going to look black if you put it on a silver or a white base. But it also means you could do like a pink base and get a really cool like underneath pink tone to the black. I mean the, the iridescent glitters have a lot of ability to transition. They're really, I mean they're really cool to work with. So that's it for this one. I love it. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Half the time I'm twisting it for you guys. I'm pretending like I'm telling you something, but I'm really just admiring the sparkle. Because it never gets old. Alright, the next cup we're going to do, let's put our glitters away first though, because I'm going to end up with a hot mess. If my battery dies before we finish, um, if you love the glitter, it can be found at withlovefromfinal.etsy.com. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment. If it cuts off in a mid-sentence, my battery died, I apologize. I'll probably post it anyways. But this will probably be, this cup here will probably be the last one I do just to avoid the uh, possibility of losing you guys. And then tomorrow I will try to remember, I'm not perfect, so forgive me if I forget, I will try to remember to do... A video on the epoxy because we're going to epoxy some of these tomorrow morning <sighs> and I'll try to video it okay so same thing as before I'm just right now trying to get the extra glitter from the previous cup off of the brush because I don't want the black glitter in this cup but I still start at the top 
Oh, and for the record, when I said I was trying to get it off, I was wiping it on my skirt. So, I have a very glittery skirt. Because I went to church this morning and never changed out of my church clothes. But I start at the top, dry brush that so that all of the white is off, and then I move to the bottom. Whoop. Not very gracefully, because I just wouldn't be me if it was graceful. Okay, once that's off, we will move this out of the way and then do some... Guys, that black and white one, oh my goodness, it is... I'm sorry, I just looked over at it. <gasps> Those might be my two favorite colors together for right now. I say for right now because I think every color I do is my new favorite. Um, so we've dry brushed, now we're going to Mod Podge. These colors are Opulent Opal and, no, what is this? It's not Gilded Grunge. It is Gilded Grandeur. Couldn't remember. It's a custom mix. Gilded Grandeur is the bottom and Opulent Opal is the top. And this one is on a 30 ounce skinny. Right now I'm just trying to get coverage on the Mod Podge. And my little cup is going empty, so I might have to pause for a second. And when I say pause, I don't mean actually pause, because I'm not that technologically savvy. I just mean, like, you're going to have to watch me force the Mod Podge in. Sorry. One day I'll learn things like, you know, video, video editing and technological stuff. My son walked in. My oldest son walked in when my I temporarily lost woo, internet for a second. My oldest son walked in and he was all excited. He goes, you got the dinosaur game. I'm like, what are you talking about? The dinosaur game. And he walks over to my computer and pushes the space bar and starts playing this like offline internet game. And I felt so dumb because I get the dinosaur a lot. I didn't know you could play with him. So I says, oh my god, do it again, before I tried to reconnect and get back to work. But I was just laughing to myself, because I'm sitting here going, these kids know so much more. And I get to tell them about the time where, you know, the flip phone came out with the color screen, and that was the newest technology, and how, you know, there was once a Nokia phone that did the walkie-talkie. In addition to taking phone calls, and they're looking at me going, you know, we got a whole computer attached to our phone. It's like a lot has changed in a very little bit of time and it just makes you smile when you stop to think about it. Okay, so last cup so that I don't lose battery on you guys. Uh, Mod Podge the same. Got out the ridges and wrinkles and all the fun things from the Mod Podge. Flat for the solid color and that's Gilded Grandeur and with a 30 ounce skinny because they're taller I usually do go a little further up before I start with the transition and again with the um, lack of coordination so I struggle with my hand and knees when I'm ready to start transitioning I tilt the cup up aiming for the solid color still but let the let the glitter sprinkle down the more Mod Podge you have exposed the more of the next color of glitter will stick. And you can also move your glitter container taller further away to get a little bit, if you want, you know, it to sprinkle down a little bit more. So right now I've got the sprinkle down going all the way here in some sections. The Mod Podge is exposed all the way down to here. So our ombre section will be pretty big which is what I would want on a taller cup you're going to want more Woo, you see me making a mess you can tell I'm getting tired so you do want more of an ombre section on a taller cup I'm aiming for about here 
when I sprinkle the white on. Can you see that? I can't see if you can. So I'm <laughs> look, I had to move it over because my tripod is in the way, not because you guys couldn't see it, but I couldn't see where I was pointing. So I'm aiming for about here when I sprinkle the glitter on to let it fall down. And that gives it the opportunity to hit any area of exposed Mod Podge in that um, gilded grandeur area. And then I'll go flat to get the solid white. And again, you'll have these thick areas that look like it's on there super thick and you can't even see the gold under there. But once you give the cup a tap, you'll realize that's not connected to Mod Podge. That's just sitting on top of other glitter. So it might look thick, but it's not. It'll even itself out. Just because, like I said, the only glitter that's going to stick is what the Mod Podge grabbed, not what's sitting on top of this other glitter. So when I tap it off, I want the, the gold glitter above the paper towel, the white glitter above the plate so that I can salvage some of this extra glitter give it a tap and you already get quite a bit of that thick glitter falling off and you get a better ombre already. I mean that's even before the dry brushing. That's just, see what I mean? So when you start with a lighter color top and you do a lighter color bottom, you're going to have a better chance of getting a good ombre as opposed to like a really dark color bottom. So if you're new to doing ombres, do yourself a favor, either do tone on tone, so you're doing like a light purple and a dark purple, or do two light colors together, I guess, or two dark colors together. I just happen to really like light colors. But the closer the colors are to each other, the easier it is to get the ombre effect without having a harsh line transition. So we've removed the tape. We're going to set this aside to dry. Tomorrow we'll dry brush it, retape it, and put the first coat of epoxy on. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, I have some more to do as far as glittering, but I don't want to lose battery. So I'm going to go ahead and log off now. They're all the same method as far as the ombre goes, as far as the, removing the tape, the dry brushing. The process is the same. It just takes practice. So be patient with yourself as you practice through. Try different methods. You can try the epoxy method, like I showed you that cup over there was done. Um, the cup currently on the spinner was done with the epoxy method. Loctite method is another one I haven't personally tried because I like Mod Podge. Um, and I stick with what I really do like. So, if you have any questions, let me know as I'm standing here pretending like I'm still talking, but really I'm just twisting the cup to admire the sparkle. And let me know if I can help you with anything else. Thank you guys so much for watching. You have a great night.